Tens of millions of young Americans are drowning in student loan debt, but one person is trying to reinvent higher ed and the outrageous costs associated with getting a degree. And he's an MIT dropout. Our mission is to provide the most accessible, highest quality CS education that is really out there in higher ed. And a big part of that is not taking tuition from students up front and instead taking a percentage of their salaries because there should not be a way for a school to succeed other than producing successful students. Frustrated as a math and computer science student at MIT, Jeremy Rossman decided to leave traditional university life. By 23, he co-founded The Make School in San Francisco, California. The school's website describes it as a college replacement for founders and developers. What you're saying is you guys it's, don't charge any tuition up front. Correct. There's no gotchas, there's no tricks. You're never paying a dollar you don't have. It changes a lot. It means that we can only stay alive if our students get the best education and get great employment. Many of the Make School students are college dropouts like Rossman and have left top universities including Carnegie Mellon, UCLA, and Columbia. 19-year-old Jimmy Yue decided to leave UC Irvine and attend the Make School instead. He showed me the app that he just created. So the music visualizer, wow, it's so cool, right? We can point it at the cameraman. Okay. Hi, Alex. Ah. Cool. cool. So when you play different music, like right. if you played hip hop, then Alex would be doing it something else. It reacts differently to pretty much everything. <laughs> so, musical reality. What do you feel you're getting out of the make school that you weren't getting out of a traditional college? It's definitely the environment, how people keep trying to make things rather than being at college where everyone's like, yeah, we need to get an A on this next exam. The Make School says they have a 10% acceptance rate, making it more competitive than Duke or Dartmouth. What really differentiates Make School from the traditional college? Several factors. There's no grades, there's no tests, there's no uh, traditional you know, problem-based homework. It's all about um, building things as you would in the real world. Do you think that students are taking too big of a risk to give up formal education? I think culturally we've mixed up the cause and effect between getting your degree and having a good life afterwards. It's not the degree that got it for you. It's what you learned in the name of the school and the connections it brought you. There's such a big difference between leaving school to attend a full-time program like Make School versus leaving school to backpack across the country and find yourself. How did your parents react when you told them that you were dropping out of the University of Irvine? Oh, they were horrified because they're very traditional. They went to university on their own and they got masters. And they think that in this age, it's still, you have to go to a good university just to get a job and just to work. Do you have any regrets about dropping out of MIT? No strong regrets. I know that many of my students will go on to become much more successful than I will be. And that when I'm looking for a job, they will be open-minded enough to uh, look past my lack of traditional credential and perhaps offer me one. <laughs> so do you think one day you'll be knocking on the door of one of your students? I'm almost certain, yeah. Is the cost of college impacting you? Tell us how in the comments below. And check out this next episode to meet artist Jay Nelson, who turns trash into amazing tree houses. My friends and I, all through high school, we just built forts. We weren't really interested in girls or... <laughs> We just weren't, we were like, we were interested in building forts and surfing. We never really grew out of it. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Seeker Stories.